everyone. It's been such a long time. I've missed you. Have you missed me? Oh my goodness. So, it's that time again. Finally. I mean, the Olympics did keep me distracted, but still, I'm so glad that So You Think You Can Dance is back, and it's time for my usual recap. Got my notes. So let's get to it. Alright, so, first of all, what was Kat wearing? I don't understand. The, the dress, I don't, I don't know. It's like the first thing I noticed. Second of all, like, I, th I think the dance gods just gave us, like, a huge gift because of freaking Mia Michaels. Whole night dedicated to her. That's, I that instantly got me so excited because uh, Mia Michaels is just everything. She is so inspiring and just what she does is amazing and incredible and um it's it's just, like I've said before it's just I can only like before I die I want to be I can only dream to be taught by her or like choreographed by her just anything just so I could get a piece of her creativeness her amazingness <sighs> Oh, and there's no sound in the background because I have to fix my air conditioner, so whatever. Um, ballet Boys. Once I heard about their little, like, background and stuff, I kind of, like, made a prediction that they might be a little bit tough as judges because they're, I, because, like, their whole thing is ballet, and ballet is very technical and they even like women like ballet ballet teachers they pick they like they pick everything they nitpick everything so I kind of thought they would be a little bit tough but they kind of were but uh, they they were they're pretty cool okay um congratulations nappy tabs on your baby your baby is so cute and hopefully they, your child will be, will grow up to be a wonderful dancer, because you guys are wonderful dancers, and you, I know you're gonna, you guys are just gonna be great parents. Um, the group number by me and Michaels, with the, with, the, with the rope, and it was just, that's like nothing I've ever seen before on that show. That was just like, my mind was like blown. I was like glued, my eyes were glued to the TV the whole time watching that. It was just incredible, and freaking incredible um now for the duets Cyrus and Eliana once I saw that they were going to be doing the door number I'm like so much pressure is going to be put on Cyrus because they're going because you immediately think Twitch Twitch is an amazing dancer and he was amazing in that number so he has a lot of pressure to like bring his own stuff to that role and just be amazing, as amazing as Twitch was. Um, and I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. I, I, I kind of liked it. Um, I feel like it, it wasn't, I mean, I'm trying to find words. I feel like they struggled a little bit. I kind of tell they struggled a little bit. Um, Eliana, she did good. I feel like she didn't... They said that she was really strong, and I can see that, but I, to me, in my own opinion, I feel like she didn't, like, hit it hard enough. It wasn't, like, the... Uh, angry that it was before. But then, like, once it... I'm trying to think. Later on in this, I'm going to talk about the whole, like judging based on these numbers things because like I my viewpoint like changed a little bit after a certain number um George and Tiffany which one did they do crap oh they did oh they did the Adele number that was that was beautiful that took my breath away out it was just like it was so pretty it really it was just crazy wonderful it was so beautiful um, Amelia and Will, they did the butt dance. Okay. I feel like Will overperformed, 
and Amelia underperformed. I feel like Amelia, she was, she, you know, in that first part where it's like the really slow, um, Will holds Amelia and like she's like this and like brings her around. I feel like she was so stiff and she was like, uh, and you had like, when you do that kind of thing, you have to be like, let me, you have to be like, you have to just let it go instead of just like, I feel like she was over here instead of like loosening up. She needed to loosen up and I feel like Will did, she out overdid it. So if Will could have just given a little bit of his performing to Amelia, then they would have balanced out. Um, okay. Janelle and Darian. As much as I dislike Janelle, I thought the number was really good, and she put her heart and soul into it, and it would, she, it, that number was good. I liked it a lot. Audrey and Matthew. This is the number that switched my viewpoint, because, um, first of all, just talking about the dance, I actually teared up, um, watching them, because it was just, oh, I thought, I thought they were really good. Um, I did see Audrey perform a little bit more than Matt. Um, now, like, when they were, when the judges were talking to them, and Nigel was like, what did her father do? What, what did he do this? How old was she when this happened? Blah, blah, blah. Do you really know what happened? And it's just, they compare, they're, this is, this is a really tough week because I feel like they are comparing them, the way they did it, to the way it was originally done by the other amazing dancers. So their expectations are put on so high. And it's just, I feel like they were a little, the judging was a little too harsh. You, it, it, I wish that they didn't, like, base it on how it was done originally. I wish it was based more on how, the, like, the, the dancers now themselves, how they, like, portrayed it. And it's just, like, that ticked me off just a little bit. It just... The way they were acting, it was just like, I thought the number was great, but they just completely bashed it, and it, I, it didn't make sense to me at all. Um, Whitney and Kihan, Kihan, whatever, um, the power couple, the new power couple, I'm just realizing, um, it was good. I feel like Kihan, his like ballet-ness showed too much and it was a little too flowy because there were parts where he had to like, there were supposed to be sharp movements. Um, it was, one of the parts that stuck out was, um, when it was, they were both sitting on top of the bench and then Kihan rolls down. He just like, he just slid down. Meanwhile, like there were like four beats where it was supposed to be like down, 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 down instead of just flowing down that's I mean I've that's that's just one thing that I noticed like he flowed a little bit too much he has to like be more sharp you know um and then Lindsay and Cole the addiction number oh my goodness I remember the first time I saw this number and I loved it <sighs> it was so good it was so good now it really was Cole is like I, I agreed with what Nigel said about like how Capono did it and how Cole did it of like the villain like the addiction like the person the, the thing that oh, the girl is addicted to and like I agreed Capone when he did it he was much more sinister and like like ha 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 you can't get away from me and Cole was more I feel like his face his face was just this one emotion just like one like controlled emotion but it was just the way that he controlled Lindsay was just, it was so odd and so cruel, you know? But, but like, in a good way, like, the, the way it's supposed to be, he just, oh, it was like, oh, I'm trying to think. No words. I can't, I'm so bad with words. He just, oh, I, I just can't, like, 
it was just like what Nigel said. He was more a little bit psychotic. Not like, oh, I'm crazy. Just like the tough and like stone like I'm like psycho kind of thing. Like, no, you're not getting away from me. Like, not like the really angry kind of thing. Like, just, you know what I mean? Like, if, hopefully by now you can get what I'm saying. I hope so. I'm sorry that I, I'm bad with words. Blech. Okay, so, bottom three girls and bottom three boys. Bottom three girls, Amelia, Janelle, Lindsay, bottom three boys, George, Darian, and Matthew. Um, they were all asked to do their solos. Um, and I judged them. I put, I, out of, I did th out of three stars. Um, this made me realize that the men are, sh are stronger than the women. Because when the three boys did their solos, they they were amazing solos. They were really good and really strong and on point. And the girls' solos were, they were nice. So, and the people who were saved, Lindsay and George, I pretty much, like, after seeing the solos, I'm like, yeah, they're, like, I knew Lindsay was going to stay because of how well she did in the Me and Michael's number. And... Same and George, his solo was a little, a little better than the other two. Um, I'm not disappointed. I'm not. I mean, it's sad. I mean, you don't have to hear me say I don't like Janelle, and Amelia is so weird. You don't have to hear me say that anymore. Um, Matthew, I, I, I'm, I guess I'm okay that he's gone. I'm not like butt hurt over it like I was with Alexis, and Daniel. I will just, I will never forget Alexis and Daniel. Alright, anyways. Um, next week, top ten, the freaking all-stars are coming back. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm verklempt. My verklempt is gonna just bursting everywhere. It's just, ugh, oh, I can't even. So, um, put your comments down below. Share your thoughts. What did you think of, what was your, what was your favorite number? What was your least favorite number? let uh, huh, that was my brain. <sighs> I really appreciate those of you who so watch my videos. The fact that, like, I stop mid-sentence and go on to another sentence and I ramble and stuff. I'm, I'm sorry that I do. And I'm sorry that I don't edit my videos. My laptop is just so messed up and it doesn't let me upload it to YouTube via my computer, so I have to do it via my iPod, and there's, I don't think, not my iPhone, and I don't think there's any way that I can, um, edit it on my phone, so yeah, um, but yeah, comments down below, what do you think of tonight, are you happy about the results, um, like I said, what was your favorite number, what was your least favorite number, what are some critiques you had, let's open up this discussion to all of you, um, and before I end this video, just a few shout-outs. Um, nice Peter, happy birthday today. I, it's like everyone's, everyone famous' birthday today. Like, Joe Jonas, Jennifer Lawrence, nice Peter, and just so many other people. Like, and if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Um, and also, Michael, my wonderful boyfriend, if you're watching this, I love you. And, of course, I'm wearing your sweater tonight. And, um... I hope you get a good. I hope you get a good day at work, and hopefully I will see you this weekend. All of you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for so much subscribing. Hopefully commenting and liking. Um, I'll be back next Wednesday. Once again, I'm so grateful for all of you who helped me contribute to this, to my little recap. It means so much to me. I love you all, and I will see you next week. Bye. Mwah.